Hi, my name is Falcon Mike. I'm making a video of my 1948 Greyhound Silverside bus. I'm in Hillsburg, California today. Look at that face. Beautiful design. Art Deco mirrors. Crazy little turn signals. It's gorgeous. Look at those headlights. Big old aluminum bumper. This bus was designed in 1935 by Raymond Lowy, an iconic industrial designer hired by Greyhound and GM to build this bus. Got radial tires with aluminum wheels. One of the only upgrades I've been able to find on it, really. Everything else is pretty much stock from 48. I had my artist buddy, Bob Kramer, paint the dogs back on the side. They had been removed. I wanted the dogs to have a bit of a smirk on their face instead of looking as serious as the Greyhound bus dogs did in the original version. That's my logo, the gear with the lightning bolt on it. I have a trucking business outside of Forestville, California. I have a 15 passenger bus. I do have Falcon Mike's Adventure Bus Services. I bought this bus last year in Sacramento, about two hours away from where I live. And I still can't believe the great, fantastic original condition this bus is in. I've been underneath it. All the brakes look like they're original style. Everything does, and I'm a truck mechanic. I've been trucking for about 35 years. Look at that, straight as an arrow. This bus is 70 years old. Powered by the Detroit Diesel 671. It was originally designed and built in 1938. Even the engine and everything looks pretty much stock. It's great the way these barn doors open, gives you great access. There's the transmission. Still got the steel cased fuel filters, oil bath, original style air cleaners. Let me close these doors up and show you what it looks like from the back. She is gorgeous. There's her back end. Look at that, those cat's eyes windows. Beautiful aluminum work, aluminum bumper, hinged on the right and swings out for access for the engine and transmission to be pulled out. We walk down the side on this side. Once again, excellent original condition. All the windows operate, glass is all good. You know, where are you going to find a bus that's 70 years old that's been taken care of like this? That's why I bought it. I wasn't looking for a 1948 Greyhound bus when I bought it, but I couldn't pass it up once it found me. Interesting story about how this bus and I came to meet. It'll be posted on my website, falconmikeadventures.com. Look at the windows, the glass. Let's have a look inside. Equally as original and fantastic. When you open the door on this, the step slides out as well. This bus is an engineering masterpiece. All Art Deco designs. That's a window crank. Look at the window in the door. Nothing square. It's all rounded and just beautiful. As we walk on in, there's the door handle that opens up the door. Look at that. Fantastic design. All the steering column. There's the emergency brake handle. <laughs> Looks like it might be out of a ship or something out of the 
1800s. It's got the ashtray, you don't see those anymore. There's the cockpit where you sit. It's got the original seat frame from the 1948 bus, just been reupholstered. It has a four speed on the column. That's the column shifter there. If you look at the dash with all the switches and everything, they're all labeled. It all looks like it's just walked out of a museum somewhere. All the gauges and everything, you know, just gorgeous. Beautiful woodwork in this bus as well. It was converted to an RV in the mid 60s by a master craftsman who was exactly that. Beautiful workmanship. Came with all this stuff. Greyhound bus book. There's what looks to be the original operating manual. Arkansas road map out of 1974. There looks to be the original ID plate, which would be 70 years old, which is incredible. Powered by the iconic Detroit diesel engine. There's the book on it. I love that Baja California road map. That's got some style. There's one of the trophies I've won so far, so far with this bus. That's on YouTube under Claypool Sellers 2018 Car Show. You could see me getting the award and the bus and my 1962 Peterbilt that's acting as the stage. Let's have a look around. Get over here to the kitchen. It's all tile, beautiful job done, all custom cabinets, all handmade, cut for all the hooks and crevices and corners around. It's got that beautiful gingerbread design on the bottom that follows throughout. Just like the drawers with all the silverware, everything came like this, good to go. Stove. As you walk into the bathroom, you See, it's got another style of tile. Beautiful mirror. Look at that cut on that mirror. Great craftsmanship. Must have taken years to do this. Hardwood door in the bathroom. Full, full size shower. Again, craftsmanship second to none. Every cut. It's perfect. Be hard pressed to find somebody that spent more time or did a nicer job. When you look inside the cabinets, they're all cedar lined. It's got this cool little pull out here for the hooks and everything for your clothes. Comes on in. So got that fabric on the ceiling. I'm not sure what that is or how they got it to stick there for 60 years or 50 years. Marble countertops in the bedroom. You know, there's that same gingerbread design that we saw in the kitchen on the cabinets in there. All handmade. You look in the clothes kick drawer there, there's probably a Pinochle decks out of the 60s or so. It's like walking into a museum. There's the, this is the emergency door on the bus with all the original handle and hardware on it. Looks like it's painted that same green color that the front of the bus is. When you're standing in the kitchen, this is what you see. All the balloons in the green are from the St. Paddy's Day Parade we were in last week in the bus. Try and get into as many parades. I want to show this bus off as much as possible. It needs to be seen and enjoyed by as many people as possible. So I have plans on renting it out as a stationary vacation getaway. I live outside of Forestville beautiful property out there park it out there or if somebody wanted to camp 
in it at a beach out on the coast. I'd deliver it out there for them. FalconMikesAdventures.com. I'm getting all that organized. Let me just start it up real quick for you. She purrs like a kitten. Has that absolutely iconic 671 two-stroke diesel. FalconMikesAdventures.com Signing off.